Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. Today's gonna be a short video. I just wanna go over some of the updates that we just got in the last couple of days. So essentially, just a heads up, I will be kind of behind on some of my videos. Um, so just like some of you may have noticed I haven't done my Kingdom Key series video this week. Uh, and that's because of my exam. I will try to get that one out, but uh, we'll see because of the fact they, they did just release seven brand new medals all of a sudden <laughs> for Global. Um, and I want to get the metal analysis videos for each of those out uh, this coming week if I can, if I have the time. So um, the Kingdom Key series might be slightly behind, but don't worry, I will put those videos out uh, as soon as I get the chance. But as for now, I'm going to prioritize the metal analysis videos first and whatnot. In the meantime, uh, if you want to go check out my metal analysis articles that I have on my website at khuxnation.com, uh, I already have some of the latest five medals that we at least knew about already up on my website and then sometime these next few days or next week or so i'm gonna try to get the vexen plus and the uh the new key art 16 ex plus medal up as well on the website uh, but the very least if you're looking for metal analysis i will always have it up on the website first before putting up the actual video so just letting you guys know about that uh, but other than that let's get on to what today's video uh, there actually was a, quite a lot of stuff that came out uh, just recently. So like we were talking about, uh, we got two new banners, a new event, and we also got a, a zero AP campaign and a bonus jewel. Oh no, not zero, a guilt campaign and a bonus jewel uh, campaign as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the banners. So for the new banners we got, we got the Kingdom Hearts, not Kingdom Hearts, the Key Art 16 EX Plus banner, as well as the uh, Organization 13 Falling Prize deal. For each of these banners, they each come with their own perks. So like for the Key Art 16 uh, EX Plus, Key Art 16 EX Plus is basically just a speed version of the Kingdom Hearts 2 Cloud EX Plus and the Illustrated Kingdom Hearts Riku EX medals. Uh, there, it's literally just the speed version of those. I want to point out too real quick though that both of these banners They're both five mercy pool. All right, so just be aware of that I know I know it says that on the key art 16 banner But doesn't show that on the falling price deal uh, unless you go into the details, but they are both five Mercy pool. I know it, it shows down here in the little scrolling text too, but they're both five mercy pool So don't worry about it if you don't uh, if you're worried that like you're not gonna get Vexen because he's not five. He's not Mercy. What he is Mercy. They're both Mercy. Now, when it comes to these two banners, okay, I, I like how they did it because they actually it's actually built in a way, at least based on the medals themselves, I should say. Uh, it's it's suitable according to where you are in the game. So if you're a beginner, a free to play player, or you lack turtle medals, uh, I strongly recommend that you pull from the organization. 13 Vexen banner instead first okay and the reason for that is solely because of the fact that when you think about it most of the medals that uh, support turtle strategies in the game are either stuck behind a paywall of some sort like VIP are stuck behind some type of special event uh, such as like with HPO and stuff like that that only came like once and like never popped up again or are come in like high score challenges and whatnot Okay, which is in arguably another form of pay to win. Okay, um, some, type, some, some type of paywall. Uh, most turtle strategies end up coming like that. So when you think about that, it, it makes it made me wonder like, well, okay, which medals exactly are you able to actually get that are turtle strategy medals that are good enough too, I should add, um, that you can get in regular pools? And the answer to that is only one medal. There's only one medal in the game right now, aside from Vexen, that you can actually get in regular pulls, which is HD Zexion. HD Zexion is the only metal in the game right now, which actually is kind of a staple in turtle setups at the moment. And Vexen Plus kind of falls in that category for now, because honestly, once these once this banner goes through, we're not going to see uh, Vexen Plus again, and the only metal that you'll be able to get is HD Zexion. And I will let you know right now, if you don't have metals like Chicken Little, or HPO, then you need Vexen Plus. Vexen Plus is practically like a like a, a weird. It's like a baby of, of Chicken Little and HD Zexion. Okay, because let me go into the details so I can uh, read it to you. In case you don't know, HPO 
raises both your general defense and your attribute defense by one for two turns, okay? Vex and Plus does something very similar and better than that. Uh, and Chicken Little as well, he debuffs the opponent's strength by two tiers for one turn, all right? So this is what uh, Vex and Plus does. He For two turns, and that's a great thing too, for two turns, he raises your reverse strength and general strength by one. He raises speed and magic defense by three, and he lowers the target strength by two tiers, and inflicts more damage the more turns have passed, and he recovers HP. So basically, he grabs all the best aspects of HD Zexion. Oh no, no, he grabs all the best aspects of HPO and Chicken Little and slaps them in one metal. And it even has a little bit extra, like the reverse buffs. Okay, if you're lacking decent turtle medals, you have to get Vex and Plus. It is like a must-have for you. But however, okay, let's think about it though. What if, what if you're not in that category? What if you do have good enough turtle? Uh, medals such as myself like I, I basically have all the good uh, turtle medals for turtle strategies And what if you're not a beginner? What if you're not free to play? All right. Well in that case uh, Actually, I don't even go there. What am I doing? In that case, you don't need to pull from Vexen. It's, he's not really that necessary uh, In which case you should definitely pull from the key art 16 banner instead because honestly the value in this banner that you're able to get is absolutely ridiculous <laughs> And I, I say that not because Keyheart 16 uh, is good, isn't good. He is good, okay. And by far, he's a, it's a great medal. But honestly, I could care less about Keyheart 16. And the reason because of that is particularly because of two medals in this banner. I'm just scrolling past this. All right, the two medals that I primarily want to focus on, and I'll explain this more in detail in my medal analysis articles as well as uh, in my medal analysis videos when they come out. But the two main medals that I am focusing on are the Dar are the Riku Replica and the HT Zack. HT Zack right here alone changes the meta. He's a very simple medal, but he changes the meta. He alone can make the Olympia, the Olympia of all Keyblades, better or on par with the Fairy Stars. And that's, that's saying something. He is a very strong medal. So out of all of them, he's one I definitely recommend. And Riku Replica, he's just a copy medal. And you guys should know by now, but I strongly uh, am an advocate for copy medals on, on this channel. So he's just like a guarantee must have for me. Riku, Yuna, and Pain, eh. Same thing with Armor of Ericus. And Scar over here. Scar is very good. He's basically just a power reverse version of like King Triton. And uh, we're all, I'm also expecting Illustrated Diz to come up fairly soon, especially with this new uh key art banner that we just got just dumping all these medals at us <laughs> so i'm expecting a high score challenge fairly soon i don't know when because we are supposed to be having a union war raid week this coming week so i don't know when they're going to do a high score challenge i'm very i'm kind of questioning maybe they'll do it along the same time i don't know uh, but scar is very good especially if we're running reverse setups right now because as of right now uh the strongest reverse medals that we have in the game in terms of multipliers are like Vanitas EX Plus and Sephiroth EX Plus. Um, but we don't really have anything that matches the multipliers of, say, like Warrior of Light or King Triton. So Scar helps fill that role of being able to get that high end multiplier to just dish out tons of damage. So if you're looking for a high end reverse metal, Scar is your man. I also want to quickly point out too that if you, when you pull from these banners, I highly recommend not fusing uh, most of your copies into each other, especially if you get trait medals. I might. If you haven't gotten the actual medal itself, so like for example, uh, if you pull from the Vexen banner, right here, if you pull from the Vexen banner and you pull his trait medal, but you haven't gotten his actual medal himself, I would, well, I would recommend holding on to it, of course, because you can't use it yet. Um, but let's say you did, let's say, let's say you did pull him, okay? Let's say you got one copy of Key Art 16 and you got his trait medal. I recommend holding on to both for now. And the reason why I say this is because solely because of the high score challenge. I don't know how soon the high score challenge is going to be, but uh, usually they will release a high score challenge fairly soon after, like a few days or so after releasing banners like this. Okay, when you pull from these banners, I highly recommend trying not to fuse as many of these uh, the guaranteed medals and the advertised medals as much as possible, just so the fact to help guarantee you get a higher percentage in the high score challenge. So enough about that. The last thing I want to cover about real quick is the new. 
<laughs> the new organization 13 uh event because this thing oh my god this event is absolutely ridiculous and in both good and bad ways so we got right here we have the new organization 13 event where you can challenge vexen i swear to god this 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 event is so aggravating to fight against I still haven't beaten it yet. I, I'm only on stage 12. Uh, there's 13 stages total, and it's it's by far the most ridiculous event. I'm not saying it because like he has high HP or whatnot, or he's high level. Right? I'm totally fine with the fact that he's high level. He has high HP. That's fine. I'm totally fine with the fact he has counters. I'm fine with that. I'm totally fact. I'm I'm totally okay with the fact that he reduces. That he debuffs you significantly, your defense debuffs. Okay, um, I'm totally fine with that. What I don't like is that he has a RNG chance of randomly critting you, and the crits always kill you no matter how much defense you have, which is absolutely ridiculous. These challenges are really tough. I'm trying my best to see if I can beat this event. So that way I can make a guide on it. Whether or not they'll actually happen, I have no idea. Because it's just so outrageously difficult. But we'll see. Okay. Um, but in terms of what you can get, you can get up to 5,000 jewels from this event if you manage to beat the whole thing. That That's the disclaimer right there. Beat the whole thing. Um, as well as you can get up to 5 trait medals for Vexen Plus. So that's, some, that's pretty cool. Uh, I do want to point out though that be careful about spending your jewels. Uh, because of the fact that this event right here can be a trap towards wanting to try and spend jewels for Vexen Plus or, or yeah, for Vexen Plus and such. They were pretty smart about this because the way they did it is, is that uh, I feel like they made it in a way where they made you think that if you don't have Vexen Plus, uh, you can't beat this event. All right. And I just want to let you guys know that's that's not necessarily true. That's a trap. Okay. I have Vexen Plus. Okay. I have a Max Guilted and whatnot too. I have Defense boost three max on him and i still am having trouble beating this entire event okay so i will let you know right now vexen plus does help but he's not required he's not necessary especially if you have other well i can i should probably rephrase that if you have the other uh typical turtle strategy medals then he's not necessary but if you don't then yes vexen plus is necessary because the fact you just need better turtle medals that's it I, I, I like that they're at least making it a challenging uh, event again. That's that. It's pretty fun. It's I haven't had a difficult event like that in a long time where I actually have to think about what the heck do I have to do? <laughs> like I'm getting my butt kicked and I don't. I, and I'm completely clueless as to like I haven't felt so clueless on how to beat an event in such a long time. Like this, uh, I, I'm I'm interested to see. It honestly leads me to believe that maybe uh, later on, sometime these next few days or so, or this next week or so. Uh, something's gonna come out that lets more players be able to beat this event uh, more effectively uh, But I don't that's just speculation at this point. Well, we, I don't know But other than that uh, if you enjoyed that's it for today guys If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell button is the best way to know when I upload new videos Such as this one as well as uh, just to be able to know when I get my videos alone <laughs> uh, as well as uh, feel free to check out my Discord. Link is in the description below. I'm always helping out people. I love being able to talk to you guys directly. But other than that, uh, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts New Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.